What's up guys, Justin Greenall here with 65drums.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to trigger two sounds by hitting your drum pad once. This is basically a way to trick your drum module into thinking you're hitting two pads at the same time. What you need is a simple chord that looks like this. I gotta give a shout out to a guy that was in the comments of my TD50 opinion video. Um, one of the big uh, features of that drum module is that you can layer two sounds in the drum module. And the guy was not very impressed. In the comments section, he said, well, I can do that with a simple patch cable with a lot of different modules. And as soon as he explained it, it made perfect sense. I'd never thought of it, but there is a way to sort of trick your drum module into thinking you're hitting two pads at the same time. So that way you can layer drum sounds. All you need is a simple cable like this. It is a, basically a splitter. You got one stereo quarter inch cable on one end, two mono uh, quarter inch cables on the other end and they're just connected together. You plug one end into your drum pad and then you have to go find two empty aux inputs on the back of your drum module that aren't being taken up by a pad. If you want to use this method and all of the ports are taken up because you have a giant drum set, um, you're gonna have to sacrifice two ports if you wanna try to uh, use this. The reason why this works is because every dual zone pad has two sensors in it. That's why it's called dual zone. You got the head sensor and the rim sensor. So what you're doing when you split the cables is tricking the drum module into thinking that this isn't just two sensors of the same pad, but they're actually two separate pads. So every time you hit the drum head, the rim sensor is gonna pick it up and just say, oh, he hit the rim. And every time you hit the rim, the drum head sensor will say, oh, he hit the pad. So that's why you can get two sounds coming out of the speakers at the same time, no matter where you hit the pad. Now you may have to do power strokes to get every note um, having two sounds coming out at the same time, but it does work. So what you gotta do is after you plug it in, you actually only need to plug in one at a time. So let's say we just plug in the orange cord first, and let's say this is the rim uh, trigger. So in the drum module, we go in, we adjust the sensitivity, we uh, choose what sound we want. Let's say we want an electronic kick sound to give like some body to this combination of sounds we have. So an electronic kick sound, we adjust maybe the volume a little bit, we'll just put it down to about half. And after we get all that done, now we unplug that orange cord and then in the port next to that, we plug in the gray cable and now we want an acoustic snare sound, let's say. We go in, we adjust the sensitivity and then we adjust the volume. We probably want the volume of the snare sound to be a little more um, dominant, a little more out there. The kick sound is to give the sound body and the snare sound is actually the front line sound we want. So after we've done all of those adjustments, now we just have them both plugged in and now when we hit the pad we'll hear two sounds. So here's what that sounds like. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun. You can do combinations of anything. Let's say you wanted to have a stacked cymbal sound mixed with a china sound. Whatever it is you wanna do, you can kind of do it. So it's a lot of fun to play around with, but it is a drum hack. It's not gonna work perfectly. Like I was saying earlier, you gotta do some like power stroke stuff. You can't do a lot of finesse and hear both sounds at the same time. Sometimes you have to hit pretty hard in the center of the drum head to hear both sounds but it does work and it's a lot of fun to play around with. You can mess around with the sensitivity settings and the rim head settings to make sure it all works perfectly. But if you have this cable, um, it's something fun to play around with. And if you just want to try this, um, go look around on Amazon. These things are probably dirt cheap. These cables probably aren't that expensive. So there is one more way to trigger two sounds. Get one of these guys right here. They're like 16 bucks on eBay. It's a D-Drum Red Shot Trigger, I believe it's called. And you can plug that in to your drum module in one port, and then uh, plug in the other cord to where it's supposed to go, somewhere in the pad right there. And you will be triggering two sounds at the same time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed. I make a new video about electronic drums every single Sunday, and sometimes another one in the middle of the week if I have time. I'm trying to bump this up to two videos a week if possible. The best way to keep on top of all that is to subscribe. I got my channel news on my Facebook page, my drum covers on my Instagram page. Go check those out. I will see you guys next video.